Hello? Hi, is Saeed there? Hi, go ahead. Hi, Saeed. This is uh, RJ Bates. I think you spoke to May this morning about some of your properties there in Wichita that you were looking to sell. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just wanted to call and uh, talk to you about that. So um, I'm seeing here you're looking to sell 4907 Murdoch, correct? Uh, yeah. And you want 45000 for that? Right. Okay. And it is it it's vacant, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um real quick, you're an investor, so I'm just curious, how much work do you think needs to be done to that property? Ten thousand, maybe maximum. Ten thousand? Okay. Yeah. So it's it's pretty close to being rent ready already. Right. Okay. Um, did you have other properties that you were looking to sell as well on Harry Street? No. No. So just this one on Murdoch. Sorry. Okay. Um, are you negotiable on 45,000? Maybe. Uh, let's see here. If I if I the no no realtors I cover the closing and I'm cash would you do thirty eight thousand? Send me an offer. Okay, I can send you over a, a contract uh, for the thirty eight thousand. It's just a, a two page purchase and sell agreement. Okay. You want me to send that over to you? Can you, I don't have your email address. Can you give me your email? I'm curious, do you, uh, are you a professor at Wichita State? You are? Yes. Do you know uh, Leon G. Barnes? Leon who? Leon Barnes? No, I don't know. No? Okay. Yeah. I was just curious. He, he, uh, he went to school there. But I know he's an active alumni, and I think he's donated a couple of things and stuff like that. So I was just curious if you know. Him. Okay. Well, Thank you. what I'll do is I'll send over that uh, that purchase agreement for the $38,000. i will email it over to you. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Man, a few words indeed. What did I say earlier? Who was it that asked me? Uh, Randy, you asked me who's my favorite seller not to. That guy. I mean, I like it to be a little bit more conversational, just so I can at least understand. But um, let's, uh, let's call Leon G. Barnes. Is this Leon G. Barnes? The one and only. Welcome back to the 50 Deals and 50 States and 50 Days Challenge. You're, you're on the live. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, RJ, my good friend. You're, you're welcome. Um, hey, this is uh, three days of us having famous guests. On uh, Monday, we had Eric Klein. Yesterday, we had Brett Daniels. Now we've got Leon G. Barnes. Leon, here's what I've done for you, okay? I went out and I hunted down one of the professors at Wichita State University. Uh -oh. And I 
with my King Closer fake wrestling belt skills, convince them to sell me a rental property in Wichita, Kansas. And you told me that if I get something in Wichita, Kansas, you would buy it from me. So I don't know anything about Wichita, Kansas, other than the Wheat Shockers and Leon G. Barnes went there, and he knows a lot about Pizza Hut. <laughs> what do you know about Murdoch Avenue? No, jeez. You're going to say you don't buy a Murdoch, aren't you? No, I'm not going to say that because I own throughout uh, the city. Uh, <laughs> Murdoch uh, and Oliver. Murdoch and Oliver, okay. Um, it, it, that is a very, uh, that's an older neighborhood, one that's uh, very similar to what I buy in. So I would be interested in looking at it for sure. Yeah, buddy. All right. So, what he tells me is it needs $10,000 to be rent ready. He's a man of few words, although he's a professor at Wichita State, which concerns me about the future alumni of Wichita State, since the man doesn't talk, but yet he's a teacher. Well, I would, I would ask what subject, uh, because I had a few science professors that were... <laughs> <laughs> I I'm gonna be honest. I would have asked what subject, but I would have. I, my fear was he wouldn't answer because he okay. he just wasn't saying a lot. Um, he, well, you know what that is, right? Because you didn't catch him in his office hours. In order for professors <laughs> to talk at any university, you gotta catch them during their office hours. I love it. <laughs> um, he he says you know it needs like ten thousand. Uh, maximum to be rent ready. Um, so I'll send you over the details. I'm going to send them over the contract, but I'll send you, I'll email you over the address and the notes that I have on it. And then uh, what, what you think before I get our contract. Cause I know uh, you're, you're good. So I'll send you over the details. Let me know what you think about it. Okay. Love it. Thanks for remembering that uh, I am a wheat shocker and I would love to buy one of my, Maybe one of my former professors. I asked him if he knew you. He said no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. And, but, you know, there's there's half a million people in the metro. I was just one of them. My favorite part about it was is instead of just saying Leon Barnes, I still said Leon G, G. Barnes as if he's supposed to know it. <laughs> You're a true friend. You're a true friend. I appreciate that. All right, buddy. I'll send it over to you. Let me know. All right, man. Bye. <laughs> I love that guy. Oh, man. He's awesome. Uh, Hello, this is Cassie. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Okay. Um, Let me find... Um, you, did we call you earlier? Yeah. Okay. Let me find uh, what your property is and pull it up in our system. In uh, which, excuse me, Wichita? Yes, can, yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, let me just read through these real fast. Uh, we got vacant, two bedroom, one bathroom, 775 square feet, built in 1942. Yeah. Okay. Need some repairs and updates. I'm looking, uh, you're relocating. Uh, is it, was this a rental property or something like that for you? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, do you know what uh, you're looking to get for the property? 25. Okay. Let me just pull up some, uh, some comps here real fast. Mm -mm -mm. When are you uh, looking to sell by? When are you moving? Oh, anytime. I'm, this is one of my uh, uh, 
than uh, investment property. Yeah. Are you selling everything or just this one? One of them. Okay. Bear with me as I'm just pulling up comps here. I mean, I feel like I'm just looking to see what this will rent for. Do you, when was the last time you had it rented out? Uh, about, uh, let's say, three months ago. Oh, that's cool. Um, what was it being rented as? At? Well, renting for uh, 1050 Cool. Um, I'm thinking that I'm, I really kind of like your price from what I know. Um, so I'm just making some notes here. Rented for $1,053 three months ago. Has there been any like major issues that have happened, like floods or anything, since you rent it rented out like that? Yeah, that was a fire. Oh, okay. But had, uh, tell me a little bit about more there. I think it it uh, uh, it it has a damage in the garage, and also uh, the uh, living room. Uh, which is the and also the uh, dining room, all, all of it was and everything is fine, but it is they put a it was not a big fire, but it was they had to make a hole in the in the roof. So that is the damage, uh, not structure, you know, anything, but uh, there is a damage, so it will. It is, it is taken into consideration, yes. Gotcha. Um, so you said there's, are there still holes in the roof? Uh, pardon? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? What do you say? Yeah, so they did remediation, right? And are there still holes in the roof and stuff? Oh, yeah. Okay. I may not be 100%. Um, yeah, go ahead. I may not be a hundred percent sold on, on that after all. Give me. <laughs> I was like, I mean, unless something major happened, I think that uh, we're in good, good shape. Let me just uh, plug some numbers in. But I think, uh, I think where I'm at. Um, let me run the numbers. If I were to flip and list it, let me. So, da, 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 let's see. What's bear with me again as I, I do some calculations here. Um, now you also have to take into consideration that in the courthouse, I don't think they have a basement finished. The basement is uh, being remodeled actually. It was finished before, but now it is about, I would say, 75% finished or about 50 60% where there is a big grass window and a bedroom and another space for a family room and utility for all this. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I have the comps a little bit higher with those basements. Uh, yeah, what, what I'm saying is that the square footage that is listed in the County, they only say two bedroom with a garage and with a one a bathroom. Yeah. And nothing, nothing said about the basement. Okay, basement just unfinished. Mm -hmm. Unfinished, but it has been finished and it is being remodeled again. Okay. Let me. Include for some of those. Mm, would you say the basement's like 600 square feet of livable square footage, or? It is the total basement. Okay. It is the. It is not. It is the. Uh, uh, the under 
I mean, it, it's the total basement. I mean, it's not three four. It's the entire basement. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, let me keep doing uh, my calculations and hmm. I think my problem is, is if I do all of that work to fix the fire damage yeah. and I purchase at your asking price, I'm really not going to make any money to rent it out. Or I think it's a little tight, if I'm being honest. I, I think, you know, I, I can have somebody walk it, but I, I can almost guarantee you, and I don't want to, I don't want to waste your time or anything like that. I, I definitely can do the project. I just don't think that it's a good project for me at the price that you're asking. Okay. Understood. Just uh, even if uh, if I could get, you know, and I a fire damage, you know, that's 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 a, a it's a precarious thing, you know. Um, I, if I could get the rehab and and finish out the basement rehab, you know, for forty five thousand, maybe. Yeah. 35,000. It would be, I don't think I would be able to get much done for 35,000. So it would have to be very, very minimal fire damage, very minimal. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I, I can't really make any money on that, uh, to fix it up and list it and sell it. And I can't really see myself with that being the best rental or the best rental loan. I'm still very cash out of pocket to do it by a lot. And it's not cash flowing great. You know, I just think I can get better properties, you know, in order to do that. So, um, you know, is there, do you have like a, a loan or, or something on it? No, I don't. Uh, did you get an insurance claim on it? No. Uh, mm. Well, I mean, I could do something a little unorthodox. Do you have anybody else that's interested in purchasing it? Yeah. Are, are their numbers coming in anywhere near your asking price? Uh, uh, well, I had an offer for 40. Really? Yeah. Why don't you take it? Well, I'm taking but I, I just want to see what other offer I can get. Gotcha. Um, do, do you have photos of the fire damage you can send me? I will. Okay. Um, why don't I verify your email address? I'm not saying no. I'm not saying never. I'm just saying I'm a little nervous about uh, coming in close to that price with the fire damage, you know what I mean? So let me verify if I have your email address really fast. Um, F Y E D. Student or a professor? Professor. Oh, what do you teach? Physics. Physics. That is fun. I'm a I'm a forever student of of all the subjects. I love it. <laughs> my dad. Uh, my dad is is a retired rocket scientist. So like, 
I love, I, yeah, I love, I love all that stuff. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are you located? Texas? I am located in Fort Worth, Texas. Yes. So I am emailing you right now. Uh, what I, uh, I just have to read. Uh, I was thinking about, uh, uh, myself and what I estimated, what I was, was going to spend absolutely no more than $10,000. 10,000 and could get it done. Oh, I think we might be in a much better shape then. Um, okay, so I'm um, that's me. That, that's me. I have my people uh, that does the work for me. And well, sure. That was me. But if you uh, have a high price contractor and all these, yes, it will cost money. Oh, we have great. We have great team there. Um, yeah. I just yeah. yeah. I probably overestimated because when I hear fire damage, it, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, yeah. you know, have the conversation with you so I can assess if I'm anywhere close, you know, but then you, you sound like you're, you're pretty experienced and you kind of know what you're doing and not everybody. Well, under the, the reason I, I am is, uh, I'm about to move to retire and move to Chicago. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not. Um, I, I had about, I would say, this is the last one. Uh, I had almost 15, yeah. last three years, I saw 15, 16 of them, 16 of them actually. And then uh, my own home, uh, I stayed redecorating. And the other one is the one, that was the last one. Gotcha. I, I said, well, if it does not work out, I have my people, they will fix it, and probably, I'd say, uh, if it is fixed, I don't think I will rent it, and the sell it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I will go through the rental business thing. I could not handle from Chicago. Yeah. And, and so, I will sell it. Uh, I'd say, uh, if I sell it, uh, I sold one by the side of it. There are two of them. This one's in 4903, which one of uh, three years ago. Uh, we did it, you know, uh, just what I was trying to do. That was sold for uh, 30,000. Okay, and three years ago. Things have gone up. I think that the basement, that thing not in the basement. Yeah. So it is side by side. I sold that one. And uh, the the market was a little bit softer at that time. Yeah. Uh, I sold as it is, really. And they're gone. And so this is the end that last week I sold another one, which was also I redecorated, sold it. Uh, and, and this one is left. And I, I my time is, I, it depends. What yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, because I live in Chicago and I just don't want to go through it. And I don't need this, any hassle anymore. <laughs> I totally understand. I totally understand. I do this, you know, all day, every day. And honestly, we have properties all over the country, you know. We have properties in as far as Anchorage, Alaska, you know what I mean? So for us, it's just a... Yeah, I know. Um, I think, uh, I think what it's does it has a central air and still that was pretty working and we we'll put it prior to the fire we we'll put it change the electrical box and little updating and they call and then it was the old one the last one yeah and everything was fine and the guy was uh trying to uh, run a um, wood filing plate, fireplace, and put a chimney close to the wall. Oh. And they got heated up. And they called the city right away. And, you know, it was not initiated that much of a big thing. But once they come, they make a hole, 
to the Louvre. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they will totally flood the place. <laughs> yeah. And, and so, uh, you know, uh, that's what happened. Uh, the basement, uh, I think there were a lot of, yeah, that's what happened. And so I did not have time to pay attention to that one. I said, look, I'll have to wait for the last, that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I say that actually, uh, uh, if you had a team and they can put it together, it has a nice front porch and all this, and 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 the basement is believable because there's a little glass window, and and the stair has been redone. Some of the improvement were done, but and we wanted to put a porch in the back and put a roof uh, extending about maybe six foot behind. But the okay. fire thing kind of burnt yeah. in the back door. But uh, and yeah, the food, food, food uh, floor was finished wood floor, but, and a new floor put in in the kitchen, wood floor, it was to be here. Used to be a uh, well, vinyl or some other stuff, which was it was wood floor now, and the whole house is wood floor. Uh, so it was uh, all finished, but when you have a fire, then you could finish it. <laughs> yeah, small kind of thing. Yeah, uh, I got you. That's how well, my main bedroom is on fire. It's not been done. I think today. But as I say, uh, when the fire people come in, they make holes, make sure that the smoke and all this. And so and so that's where we are. Then you have to, you definitely have to pay the pay gate and maybe you have to put some trust because you know that some of the trusses have been fire burned. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the roof was fine. Roof is about maybe. I'd say seven front and back roof is almost new with the front porch was put in. But the main roof was probably about seven years old, eight years, seven years old. But now that they have got sold, I'd rather put a new roof. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's what I look at it. And or it can fix, but you don't fix it. And I you make I and mean, it's a past job, just put a new roof. Yeah. And Wait, you mean you just put a new roof on last year? I have not done new roof. Oh, okay. Roof. So it's just the patch job? In the back and the front uh, was new roof because that was installed recently. On back the porch? porch yeah. Front porch and back porch. Okay. Uh, back porch about six feet. It goes so the six to seven feet. Back yeah. And in the front about three, four, three, four feet, four feet. In the front, a porch. That was all new. I mean, uh, but they're all fine. But I'm saying that main room is about 70 years old. So that uh, when they have got a holes, you rather go ahead and put the new room because you have to fix the patch, patch the hole, and all this. It's yeah, I can see a little bit from the from the well, street view. Yeah, because when roof is stuck, when roof has been there for an eight years and pick this color and you bring in the same material it does not match. Yeah. So you, uh, you rather do it and it doesn't cost that much. So but yeah. the process, process put in and then that you put you paint it good painting uh, and some Maybe there are some sheet rock needed. So those are the cosmetic things. And I don't think there is any major in plumbing or electrical has to be done. But those things, you know, depending on who that is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Um, I am going to, because the only thing that's, I, you know, I'm definitely not concerned about doing it, you know, for an affordable budget, like for like the cosmetic type of things. Um, yeah. 
I'm mostly going to be concerned about any of those trusses or, or, you know, any potential, um, structural issue or getting, you know, cleaning out the HVAC, things like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is if you will, I'm going to go ahead and email you right now. And my email is going to be Cassie and that's C A S S I at titanium dot investments. Um, if, if you have any photos of just like at least, I got, the, I got photos. yeah, perfect. I just want to see if I'm a little bit close and then I want to reach out to my, uh, uh, my guy and gal who are, are my, on my team there. Um, yeah. and I may have them, you know, see when they can go and, and look at the property in person for me. And then, um, I am going to go ahead and just uh, recalculate the numbers. Um, I may call you back from my cell phone. This is this is one of our, our office lines. Um, and then what I will do is just verify the numbers so that I can say, hey, you know, how can they get access? If I'm not going to send them there, I'm not going to send them there. Um, without telling you, but is there a lockbox or do they need to meet you? Not a problem. Anytime. Okay. Not a problem. They just need to meet you there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm going to touch base with them and I'm going to verify my numbers. If you don't mind sending me the photos and then uh, we'll just take a look at this a little deeper. I don't want to, the only reason I would send you a contract right now, um, yeah. I just don't want to end up you know, I know you've got another offer, um, at least on the table. I don't want to end up saying that I can do, you know, 45 and then just be like, I can't do it at 45. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to do that to you. Um, I'm usually fairly confident on my numbers until it comes to something like, you know, repairing a fire damage or something like that. So I just don't want to do that to you. And, but I, but I'm very interested in the property. So, um, I'll be keep a lookout for that email. Let me know if you don't get it. I just send it over and uh, right. we'll go from there. Wonderful. Okay. Perfect. 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 All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much and we'll talk soon. And I look forward to it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds All right. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sayed. We'll talk soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.